So the first thing I did to um, make the uh, fences was to look at the um, Woodland Scenic um, fence. I bought a pack of this and just uh, took some measurements. And with those measurements, I then used some uh, evergreen polystyrene strips um, to form the uh, template. Um, the strips are uh, 0.25 uh, mil by one mil um, and um, 0.75 by one mil um, on, on top to give me the uh, depth. So I arrange these as you can see uh, in the lines so that uh, when I place the um, the northeastern scale lumber uh, pieces um, into into the sections it just uh, all lines up and then all I have to do is uh, put the uh, put the posts posts in now um, prior to starting I chopped up um, a load of these uh, posts as you can see um, I've done them at uh, uh, 10 millimeters uh, for the uh, intermediate posts and then um, 15 millimeters uh, for the posts that actually uh, go into the ground. Um, there's no point having uh, lots of holes in the, uh, the, the scenery and you can just uh, put them every, uh, every three, or well, every four, sorry, one, two, three, four, every four, uh, four spacings. Um, and the nice thing about this is you get a nice long strip rather than just these uh, shorter strips. Plus the wood is more realistic um, because it's wood. So yeah, so um, we'll just uh, get on with it. So the uh, the wood that we're using um, for the the main the main bars going across is uh, one inch, so yeah, one inch by three inch HO. So it's the uh, Hoskal. Uh, 1311 is the product code for the bars that go across. Um, and with this set up, it's easy. You just place place the piece in, and run your finger along. Uh, do that for the uh, for all the bars. So that's that set up. You can see that was pretty quick. To do and then I just place the uh, the main posts where I'm going to need them <clears throat> I've already poured a bit of glue out now to do the gluing um, what you need is a very I mean, you could use a, um, a paper clip, which would be good, and simply just dip it in so you have a little bit on the end, and then carefully just dab it on the location of the wood. And carefully place the uh, post on top. Now the wood glue I'm using is just uh, Mod Podge. Um, so it's PVA, standard PVA glue should uh, do the trick. So once you've made this uh, template it uh, actually makes as you can see it's quite an easy process to put a fence together and then repeat for the intermediate ones And there we have it, we'll leave that to dry and uh, we'll come back to it. Now that we've left this to dry, it's time to slowly peel it out of the, uh, the mold or template.
tricky bit is getting this first bit started. So what I've been doing is just running a knife gently underneath and you kind of tease it, tease it out. <clears throat> and then we have it, one uh, piece of face. You see sometimes the bits come a little loose, like this one has, so it's just a case of uh, dabbing the glue on and finishing it off, but um, that's how uh, you go about making a uh, fence. All there is left to do now is to uh, paint and uh, weather them. So once I've painted the fences, I've added them to the layout um, across the back and down in the cow field here. I also built a um, gate for the farmer to access with a muddy track. But yeah, the fences go all the way along down the back, down to the bottom of the uh, stream there, and all the way along to the end. I've added a uh, style uh, in there so the uh, signal box workers can uh, get over into the field uh, at lunchtime and uh, play a game of football or whatever. But yeah, um, that's how the layout's currently looking. I really hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial for the fences. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and as always, happy modeling. If you would like to continue to see the progress of the model, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'll see you next time.